going on guys, Digital Genepool here, back with another episode of LBA Battles, Aorus Wi-Fi Battles. Uh, this is actually still part of the qualifier. Uh, we're going our way through the, the loser's bracket. And this is actually my fifth round, I believe. Um, my round before this actually was a disqualification. Uh, he actually forfeited. He brought a Uber's Pokemon and 3RU, and the rules was just 2OU and anything under that. So, um, I'm bringing the same team as we've been seeing, and he, Dylan, uh, I believe it is at Tactical Monkeys. I'm not for sure. I'll put the name below in the description. And so he's bringing Florges, Mega Slowbro, Arcanine, Rotomo, Heatron, and Minchow, Minchow, whatever you want to call him. Um, so I do want to apologize, guys. This is a very long battle. I actually tried to pre record this and fast forward it. So um, the quality might be just a little bit down. And so, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoy. So um, get this started over here. So, yeah. Dylan is issuing a challenge, so he's gonna actually gonna bring out. Um, I'm bringing my Heatran, he's bringing out his Mind Shout. I'm expecting a fake out to come, and I really don't want my Bloom to pop, so my best bet here is to switch out. Uh, switching out here is going into my Quagsire, my defensive wall. It helps out a whole lot. Uh, he goes for the fake out. Uh, it's gonna do a decent amount of damage. Obviously, Life Orb Mind Shout is not anything to mess around with. It's one of my favorite Pokemon BGC, so I'm used to it. I understand what it does. Um, he's gonna go for the U turn. I'm expecting the Regenerator, so he's gonna constantly be getting health back. And really, I just. That thing is just gonna. That thing really threatens my team. I, it's the thing I need to get out the most. Uh, and so I go for the Toxic just to. I know he's going for the U turn. I just had the, the hunch that he would. So whatever's gonna come in is gonna take the Toxic. And I miss. Really, I probably should have took the safe bet and just went for the recover, and so I had full health, but it is what it is. So, I switch on to my Venusaur. I'm expecting him to go for a Volt Switch, um, and really, I don't know he's gonna, what he's going to Volt Switch into. I don't know if it's going to be his Arcanine or his Heatran, and he ends up going into his Arcanine. I'm going to Mega Evolve here and go for Thick Fat. Um, I really, again, I, I, I take the ballsy moves occasionally, and Venusaur is going to stay in. And he's going to go for the Flare Blitz, and the Flare Blitz is going to do a lot of damage. And judging by the damage, he is actually a Choice Banded uh, Arcanine, and he's also pretty bulky. And I go for the Earthquake, really, it's probably not the best idea to do. Um, hindsight, really, I, I probably shouldn't have ran a mixed set, but I just I did it just in case I ran into any other Heatrons, which we do in this battle. Um, Sludge Bomb might have KO'd the thing, but we'll never know at this point. So I switch into my Quagsire, and he goes for another Flare Blitz, and this is where I decide that, yeah, this thing is banded. Um, I believe I'm times four resisted at this thing, and it does a whole lot. I'm like, oh no, oh no, oh no. So I'm expecting him to uh, switch out, uh, but at the same time, I don't really want to chance it. So I go for the Scald uh, into his, and he ends up switching into his Rotom. And this thing is going to pressure me out, and really, I don't really notice this until the like halfway through the battle that this thing is actually probably choice. Um, it constantly runs the same moves. I don't know if it's choice specs or choice scarf, and really, I, I he's going to be pressuring me out, and I understand that. And I probably could have stayed in there with Quagsire. So he actually predicts me to go into Venusaur and goes for the hidden power. I'm assuming Ice, which. Uh, Judging by the damage, this thing is probably Specs uh, with the Florgus taking some of the damage here. So um, he's going to switch out here with my Florgus in, and he's going to go into his own Florgus. It's, it's going to be this little mini battle. And uh, my best bet is to go for Wish, and I'm going to go try to get my Venusaur back up into health. And he's actually going to double switching, predicting me to go into my Venusaur, which is actually is probably a good bet against it on his part. So. Um, Obviously, see, we see his Florja switch out here, and that Florja is, is so annoying. I hate his Florja. That thing, this is the reason why this battle took so long. It is a 50 turn battle. So, my Florja is going to switch out, and it's going to go into my Venusaur. As I said, he predicted into my Arcanine. And, I mean, he, he predicted his Arcanine uh, to come in. So, uh, it goes for the Flare Blitz. Again, I'm going to just tank this thing. As I go for a Sludge Bomb, I kind of thought maybe he might switch out here, uh, predicting we'd go for an Earthquake. Um. But he just stays in and does a lot of damage against this Venusaur. I probably could have switched into Heatran and got the Flashlight boost, but it is what it is. Um, so his Mind Shout comes out. My Venusaur is weak. It's in KO range. And I don't want to risk it. So I, he's actually going to go for the Fake Out here into my into my floor just, And I'm going to go for the Moon Blast, try to pressure this thing out. Uh, it's the best thing I could do, really. I mean, I probably could go for another Wish, uh, but he goes for the U-turn. 
Uh, he's going to switch out. And he does a pretty amount. He does a decent amount of damage. I mean, I'm fully defensive invested, but I know Floor just doesn't have a high defense. And I understand that. I probably should have went full, full um, special defense. So he switches out into Slowbro, and I, I was sitting there thinking, oh my gosh, Floor just just did a, a chunk into this thing. I, I just couldn't believe it. Uh, maybe I could possibly done it again. I know his defense goes up when he Mega Evolves. But instead, I switch out into the safe play of going into High Dragging. Uh, he probably could have predicted that, uh, go, or me going into the Venusaur, went for the Ice Beam. Um, but instead, he goes for a Calm Mind, and I have so much pressure on this thing that he can't really he can't really afford to stay in. Obviously, I'm faster than it, and it's a lot slower. So uh, he switches out into Floor, just predicting the Dark Pulse to come, and which it does. Honestly, I probably could have U-turned, uh, predicting that. Uh, predicting the switch and had the switch initiative so I'm actually gonna switch out here as he goes for the moon blast his moon blast is probably his best bet here uh, obviously I'm times four and I would do a lot against this thing and I just go into my floor just a special wall uh, or mixed wall that is and it this is just a it's, it's a stall battle I, I sped up the battle to 1.25 I might have I probably could have done it to 1.5 uh, speed so I do apologize, guys. So I go for the wish here, and he's actually going to end up going for the wish himself. And we're going to switch out into Mega Slow Bro and Mega Venusaur. Both our Megas getting uh, their health back. Uh, it's probably it's a it's going to be a war, basically. And at this point, I'm thinking in the back of my head, okay, can I take a hit from the Slow Bro? I know he's wishing into it. Can I take a hit from it? Can I should I switch out? into my high dragon and play it safe or do I predict an ice beam um, either way I just go for the giga drain I said okay let's get, let's chance it and I do a lot of damage against this thing and it brings me back up to full health and at this point I'm like okay can I survive a psychic but he actually runs psy shock which is good for me because I'm a relaxed nature which raises my uh, defense up rose the raises my defense and lowers my speed it's all, sorry guys I'm stumbling over my words here so, I go for the Giga Drain again, as his Rotom Mo comes back in, Rotom Cut, whatever you want to call this thing, I think it's Rotom Mo, and he goes for the Hidden Power, and at this point I'm like, okay, this is Hidden Power Ice, and I know I can stall this thing out regardless of what it does, and so I go ahead and go for the Synthesis, I can stall, burn stall this thing out, and him seeing that, he actually just switches out, and I just go for another synthesis again, just to get me back up to full health. This Venusaur will not die. Um, it's one of his. It's probably one of the MVPs of this game, uh, just for its bulkiness, how it stayed around and stuff. Um, so he switches out into Florges, and this is where it gets annoying. It gets super annoying here. I, I, I'm, I, I'm frustrated at this point because he's gonna be going. He's gonna go for Wish Protect constantly. So goes for the Wish. Obviously, he's trying to bring something else in. He can't really effectively do that uh, with my Venusaur in. Because regardless of what he brings in, maybe his heat, if he brought his Heatron in, he could avoid the Sludge Bomb, which he probably could have predicted and forced the switch out and got a um, Stealth Rocks up. But I go for the Sludge Bombs here constantly. He's just going to constantly heal up. But I do get the Poison off, so it helps out a little bit. I mean, it doesn't help out a whole lot, but seeing that he's going to constantly do this, um, this upcoming turn, I, I go for the Sludge Bomb, and I'm predicting him to go for Protect again. He's just going to constantly do this. He's going to try to stall out my uh, Power Points. I end up switching out into, uh, I believe, my Heatran to try to go for a Taunt. And really, it, it kind of paid off in a way. As I switch into Heatran, and he's going to go for the Protect. It's going to fail. I'm going to go for the Taunt, and he switches out into his own Heatran. I don't know what he's expecting from me. I don't know if he was expecting a um, fire type move. Maybe he's thinking I was running special defensive set with Lava Plume. Uh, but he gets taunted and it, it forces him out uh, the upcoming turn. So here we see his Heatran come in. Shiny Heatran uh, floats, in the air with, floats with the air balloon. So I go for taunt. No. Knowing they can't really do anything against me, he could probably go for a steel move to knock my balloon. I didn't really care. I just go ahead and set up my stealth rocks just, just in case. Um, it's gonna help me in the future, and it, it kind of does, and kind of doesn't. I mean, it does. 
St at this point, it, he doesn't really have any bulky Pokemon besides the floor. Just, and he's not switching that thing out enough. He ends up going for the fake out with his Mind Chow. And I'm below half, half health. And left covers is going to go. So I'm going to okay, he's going to go for a U-turn. He actually goes for the high jump kick. And it knocks my Quagsire up. If I remember right, I just went ahead and went for the recover. And, but Quagsire falls. My first Pokemon gone. As his Mind Chow is still reigning supreme against me. So I bring out my Venusaur, who is now at full health. Um, again, Venusaur is basically my MVP, if you want to consider it support. I mean, he doesn't really pick up any hardly any KOs. So he actually goes out into his Heatran, and I just go ahead and go for the Giga Drain. I'm expecting him to probably bring this thing out, and Sludge Bomb is not the best bet. So I want to pop his Balloon. And even if he goes for a Fire-type attack, I'm going to be able to take it. So we actually get a series of crits here. I go for the Giga Drain, it gets a crit. He goes for a Lava Plume, gets a crit. And I end up going for the Earthquake, uh, which works out in my favor this time, and knocks this thing out. I don't know if the crit mattered with this Earthquake because of the times four. Um, but either way, Heatran's gone, and he only has four Pokemon left. His Mind Shadow is going to come back out and try to threaten me. And I probably could have stayed in, and in, in all honesty, I probably could have stayed in with Venusaur, but I didn't really want to chance it. So I just go ahead and go ahead with the floor, just, just to pressure him out with the Moon Blast. Uh, he goes for the Fake Out U-Turn, the, the same old thing that he's doing. Uh, <laughs> uh, and he's going to switch out into his own floor, just. Uh, but I actually go for the Protect Here U-Turn. Uh, sorry, I forgot about this one turn here. He, and But he actually uh, goes over the U-Turn again. I'm just trying to get some health back. I'm just trying to stall this thing out, just in case it does go for a high jump kick. But he goes for the U-Turn. He's going to switch out into his own, his own uh, floor just, and here we go again with this thing. This thing does, just not, does not want to go down. So I bring out my Venusaur, and I'm going to try to tackle it. Uh, just tackle its HP down as much as possible. Um, during this switch, though, he kind of predicts well and goes uh, for aromatherapy. And really, it just it was frustrating because that was my only way of chipping this thing down. Uh, because it's just constantly going to go down. I'm, I'm expecting it to have max. I think the thing probably had max um, PP invested investment. And this thing's just, it's just frustrating to deal with. So he goes for the heal bell. And he heals himself with poison. heals his Ronomo. Which really doesn't matter because I have the rocks. And he has no way of getting rid of the rocks. My Venusaur is going to come down. We're going to see a couple turns of me getting constantly wished protect stalled. And eventually I get fed up with it. I get so fed up with this thing that I go into my Lucario, who does not have a steel move, but I'm kind of faking it. I'm kind of threatening it out. And predicting that it's going to switch regardless, I go for a Swords Dance. So we'll see this in upcoming turns as, again, we're going to have a couple Sludge Bomb, Wish, Protect, Wish, Protect. Me constantly going for Sludge Bomb. I'm sitting here looking, feeling like an idiot because I can't take this thing out. And really, my heat can come out, but I really don't. He still has his mind shout that can really threaten me out. So I go for the sword stance here as he goes for the switch into his slow bro. And a slow bro is already at low health. Really, his best bet probably would have been to wish and maybe go into the slow bro. Um, but either way, I go ahead and go for the sword stance. And it's, I'm going to be able to set up. I possibly could have went for another one here in a couple turns, but I go for the close combat against this thing, knock it out, and he's gonna bring out his mind shell. And the best part about this, my guy, about my Lucario, is I'm running inner focus. So regardless if he goes for a fake out, I can ignore it and go for the extreme speed. I, I went for extreme speed here, expect just in case he went for a high jump kick because he outspeeds, but. Obviously, a plus two Lucario Extreme Speed is going to be able to take out Mindshow. Mindshow is very frail, though powerful. Um, he switches out, out. He brings his Florgus out. Um, and again, this thing is so annoying. I probably, at this point, could have went for another um, Swords Dance and went for it, went for Stab. Um, close combats, though, it's resisted or even neutral extreme speeds or ice punches. But instead I switch out into my Heatran because I really just don't want to deal with this wish BS anymore. 
um, this Wish Doll that he's basically lost at this point because it's two Pokemon. And so I bring out Heatran, he pops the balloon, and I go for the Taunt. And at this point, I can just constantly flash cannon this thing down. Uh, and then we'll eventually we'll go down. <laughs> It'll eventually go down here a couple turns. That's the reason why I fast forward it. This was originally like 22 minutes, and I got I was able to bring it down to 15 minute recording. Um, though the actual recording now is gonna be longer than that. Um, and his Rotomo is gonna come back in and die to Stealth Rock. So. I appreciate you guys watching this. I know this battle is probably long, drawn out, boring. My mouth actually hurts from talking so much on this thing because it's a little bit longer than what I'm used to. Uh, but I appreciate you guys watching this. Uh, don't forget to hit the, the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button, check me on Twitter, Facebook, and all that junk. Uh, check out my opponent, check out the Lithio Battle Association. And yeah guys, the next couple battles are gonna be nice. Um, there are a couple nail biters. Uh, which the next one, uh, determine the winner between who got into the LBA. Obviously, if you've seen my videos, my draft analysis, I've made it into the LBA. Um, get, and it was against a really good opponent. I didn't really know if I was going to win against the guy. And also, my um, uh, opponent for the draft determination. Sorry, I clicked that thing. Um, Rotom faints the Stealth Rocks, and I win the battle. Um, so, yeah, I thank you guys so much for watching this battle. I... I stumbled through this thing. It's probably not good quality. But yeah, I'll check I'll see you guys next time and I hope you enjoy the next ones. It's going to be a good one. So, see you next time. Peace.